Welcome back to Revit uh, 2019 Structural Framing Fundamentals and I'm Kelly and we'll be talking about 7.2 chapter and we're going to be going over just simply the modifying structural framing portion first and we're going to say is that uh, the default connections of columns, beams, and braces might need to be modified to suit special situations such as when a beam or um, I'm sorry when the beam beams are offset from their associated level or cantilevered beyond a framing member. So modifications can be made by using graphical controls and the uh, shape handles. Uh, the properties over here is uh, where you can get the other special things such as the YZ justification, Y justification, Y offset values. And then you can also uh, come up here and utilize these here out of the ribbon. Okay, so once you select a member, then you then would get these options here for you. Okay, um, the detail level of a view will impact the way in which framing members are displayed, uh, just like this figure shows here. So some editing tools would work only in a medium or fine detail view. So this is a coarse view. This is a fine view in, in the bottom is where you'd find that at the bottom of your screen. Now. Uh, if I am set to fine or medium, then when I select a beam, I will then get this option to change the reference. If I am not in that, then I will not get that option at all. Okay, if I'm in course, I can't see that. All right, so the location lines uh, can also be a visual reference as uh, you can see right here. And in the visibility graphics box, under the model categories, under structural framing, the location line is right here and you can toggle that on and off. Or alternatively, some people like to see uh, the analytical lines and you can toggle that on and off using that button that's on that same bar as your detail, okay? Uh, when you draw framing members, the start and end orientation is based on the first and the second points that are picked. So if I draw from left to right, my start is on my left and then my end is on my right. If I draw from right to left, like you see here, then the start is on the right and the end is on the left. Okay. Now you might want to go to a thin line in order to get this view to show up for you a little more easier. Uh, sometimes I turn it back on so these lines show up thicker. Okay. All right. So this the uh, green is the uh, start point and the red is the end point. You can just remember that. Now, also you can go into 3D and there is a, if you right click that member, then there is an option in there to go ahead and um, tell it to uh, flip the structural ends if you needed to do that. So here's how you'd go about that here in Revit is I've got a member right here already prepared and you can see my start is at the green and my end is at the red if I select it right click I get a sub menu that says flip structural framing ends and now I've got the start down here in green and I've got the end down here in red and I'm just gonna undo that so I can leave it be as it was okay um, so that's pretty much it um, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the recording here and then uh, we will talk about uh, sloping and offsetting beams next okay